Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to use multiple filters in DAX. So I'll be showing you how to use filters using three types of data, which is text, number, and date. So let's get started with creating a new measure. So right click on the query, click on new measure. And I'll be creating a measure for sales. So I'll be giving it a name. Let's give it a name sales, which is nothing but sum of sales. Let's check what number do we get. Let's pull out a card. So we have $118.73 million. Now let's filter the data by a condition. So let's place a filter on a country. Let's say we want to place a filter on Germany sales. So right click and create a new measure again. So I'll name it sales Germany. I'll type in calculate. I'll be using the calculate function. I'll give it an expression, which is nothing but sales. So I'll be using the function filter. The table which is finance data and the expression which is country i'll type in country is equal to germany parenthesis close parenthesis close let's see what value do we get so we have essentially filtered the data by germany sales now let's further filter the measure that we have created which is sales Germany by a second condition. Let's say we want to check the sales of Germany, but only for the transactions or only for the rows that has a value greater than four hundred thousand dollars. So we'll jump into a new line. Just place a comma at the end of the first filter. Jump into a new line. Filter again. So I'll need to mention the name of the table again, which is finance data, comma, and the filter expression, which is sales greater than $400,000. Parenthesis close, parenthesis close. As you can see, we have a change in value. So now we have filtered the data, not only by country, but also by a certain condition for the sales which is if the row has a value greater than four hundred thousand dollars then only we'll be considering it now let's further filter the data now this time we'll be filtering the data by date so i'll there's a comma again jump into a new line filter again again the name of the name of the table which is finance data filter expression which is date Let's say I want to place a filter for dates that are before, on or before 2013, December 31st, 2013. So I'll just mention the date is less than or equal to, I'll type in date, I'll type in the year, which is 2013, 12, and the day, which is 31st. Close, 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 enter. Now we have, now we have again filtered the data further. Now, which is giving me a value of only $4.58 million. So this is how you use multiple filters to filter your data according to your needs. Thanks for watching this video. 